I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. Spectating gameplay is a bit, bit of a weird one. I mean, if I had a friend over and they were just like, hey, do you mind if I play Skyrim for a bit? You can watch. I'd be just like, no, go away. But that being said, I spend a lot of time watching Let's Plays, which is essentially watching someone else play video games. If your friend is playing a game, they're probably just gonna sit there and play it. But if you've got people who are making videos of them playing games, they're going to sort of try to be more entertaining. I think a lot of it is people expressing their own personalities in situations that you only really come across in video games. So I think there's, that's, that's sort of where the interest comes up, is you're not going to have to suddenly build a house because you're worried that when it go, becomes night time you're going to get attacked by monsters. That's not a problem I have to deal with in everyday life. But in Minecraft, you you have to you have to do that. You you kind of you start off with nothing. You kind of go okay. We've got to build a house before nightfall, and then when one of your friends burns that house down by pouring a bucket of lava on it, it becomes a bit of a problem. And that's it's interesting to see how different people react to that that situation. And we don't really get to see that anywhere else other than let's plays and things like that. Quick word on competitive gaming, I suppose. I don't really have any interest in it. Um, <laughs> maybe maybe it's because I'm British, but I'd much rather watch people be crap at games than be good at them. Games have come very far in the, pa in the past few years in the way that they're exposing themselves and the way that they're being consumed by people in general uh, in the sense of uh, uh, esports, which is one side of it, and Let's Plays. I think it is genuinely a brilliant thing for gaming. I, the ability to just click on, go on to YouTube or go Vimeo, I don't know, somewhere, type in the name of a game and then click enter or hit enter, whatever, and just find that gameplay from those games just there that you can just freely watch. Even if you don't own the game but you remember playing it at some point, you can find that content and you can consume it and enjoy it. And with esports, it's a legitimate career now. People are getting green cards to play video games. It's brilliant. It is absolutely just flabbergasting that anyone could think it's a terrible idea for this stuff to happen. It's f entertainment. It's free advertising for companies to put their games out there. And it's a career path now. Nowadays, it seems as though anyone that plays games watches some form of gameplay at least in my opinion. Be it let's plays, playthroughs, full play like videos, ways to beat a boss and complete levels. It's clear some games don't translate well to being spectated, but some people have the ability to make a decent video out of it anyway. I thoroughly enjoy watching gameplay, I watch hours of people playing my favourite games, learning the intricacies of the game and seeing how people approach different challenges that the game presents and noticing how they do it different. Another aspect of this is looking at different games that I have never played and it will give me an inclination as to whether I'd want to play them and how they would be suited for me and whether they'll be good for single or multiplayer. There's too many ways to spectate gameplay on, on the internet which is um, live streaming with tournaments and let's play. Um, with tournaments I mainly watch fighting game tournaments that happen every week on I think Level Up which takes place in an arcade in California and Every other weekend there's a major fighting game tournament that ha takes place and I love watching those. Especially games that I follow and know, understand the mechanics and how they're played. Um, it makes them makes them way more entertaining to watch. Um, the main one I like to follow right now is Killer Instinct because I'm really into Killer Instinct right now with my Xbox One. It's probably the main game I play. And last, uh, last weekend there's a tournament, I forget the name of it though, I'm sorry. But um, the finals for KI was so intense, it was great. Another really intense one uh, game fighting game I love to watch is also um, Super Smash Brothers though Melee Melee especially because of the wave dashing technique um, those are pretty really entertaining to watch you get excited you go oh shit when a moment happens it's great um, with Let's Plays I mainly watch the Chibi Hunter guys of course 
And I also watch these guys called Two Best Friends Play on the Mission Mike ones they do on Sundays and the regular schedule ones they do on their own channel. Um, the ones on their own channel I love. Um, I think they're kind of my favorite right now. And uh, I used to watch Game Grumps. I got bored of kind of Game Grumps. I don't know why I just did. Um, I actually was subscribed to PewDiePie uh, when he was just, I think when he was around 80,000 subs I found him. He was pretty funny. I kind of outgrew him with because he always, he's kind of the same thing over and over again. But uh, yeah, um, Let's Plays and Spectating on live streams, um, really great. It's completely just, oh. I mean, I wouldn't get on the bandwagon. But ugh, I, just, I just don't have any friends. Well, don't have my friends. I have Pepsi. <laughs>